Oh, hi! Today we're gonna make this hooded t-shirt look a little bit more fancy. And by make it fancy, I mean add some lace. You can use either a hooded t-shirt or like a regular hooded sweatshirt, or as the cool kids say, a hoodie. Or you can make a hood to add to a t-shirt or whatever other garment you want and line it with some lace. Here's what you'll need. Definitely got beer all over my tights. I didn't finish this one. It's just been one of those weeks, man. For any of you wondering, you're supposed to pour beer at a 45 degree angle. That's how you get such a good head. <laughs> As you can see behind me, I had the pumpkin beer before I had the regular Hefeweizen UFO. And I have a fancy glass that I got at a beer tasting. Doing nothing but the fanciest today, guys. Pinkies out, bitches. Right, what was I saying? Something with a hood, or you can make a hood and then line it with the stuff we're gonna line it with. On some kind of matching or complementary lace. I'm using a hooded t-shirt, meaning it's made out of t-shirt jersey. So the lace I'm using has a little bit of stretch to it. I like this hood because it has a design like on the top so when you put it on you see all these little people. I don't know why I like that so much. Matching thread in a sewing machine would also be helpful. Also pins. So I've laid out my lace. I'm gonna fold it in half. Lay your hood on top of that. You want to keep the curved back of the hood on the fold of your lace. Go ahead and cut that shape out. It's okay if you make it a little bit bigger than the hood. Better to have too much fabric than not enough. Or else you're fucked. Or else you're up the creek without a paddle. Or else you're in the doghouse. Tell me your favorite way to say you fucked up in the comments below. Or else you're in deep shit. If you haven't seen my how to make Harry Potter Hogwarts robes video where I explain how to make the bottom curve on a hood shape, it's a little bit like this. Throwback Thursday, except it's Friday, and you won't see this till Sunday, unless you watch it after I post it, and then I don't know what to say to you. Now, if you cut your hood on the fold, you should have a shape that looks a little bit like a bustier. Who the fuck says bustier? <laughs> that back straight seam is already together. I want to sew along here. Now, a trick I learned as far as sewing lace or like very, very thin material is you're supposed to use some tissue paper under the machine just so the needle has like something to go through. As you can see, you know, there's a lot of holes going on. I didn't think that far ahead because I didn't know that I was going to do this project until about 30 seconds before I turned the camera on. I'm going to see how this goes. See how much I fuck up my sewing machine. So just do a little straight stitch along that curved piece until it meets where your fold was. Well, that seems to have gone okay. I still want to recommend doing this without tissue paper, but my machine didn't die. Now I just look like a weird nun or someone attending a funeral. One thing to point out before you do that is make sure that everything's right sides together. So now you want to keep this hood inside out, wrong sides together. I'm going to fold the very edges, which is why I said to make this a little bit bigger than the actual hood, um, just to give it a nice finished edge. I'm gonna start pinning it along the edge just where the seam is on the original hood. Leaving this edge right here is especially important if you have a hood, as most do, with a pull string on it that will scrunch it up. So now that the whole face side of the hood is pinned on, I'm going to do a straight stitch or top stitch or whatever you want to call it. One that'll look real nice. I didn't say this before I did it, but do that same top stitching thing where you just pin everything a little bit, fold it over along this neckline uh, and yeah, top stitch that and then you'll have the whole hood done. And now you're done, so let's try it on, right? Wow, the project was so fast. Oh my god, it's so amazing. It's gonna look so good. You're beautiful and fancy now. Yeah, it still looks exactly like it did before, right? Oh, oh shit, no it doesn't because it's fancy inside. You screwed the pooch.